This is like a nano-sized uh, first-person view quadcopter. The pilots actually fly them while wearing VR goggles. Uh -huh. right, we're going to go talk to Will. I saw him working on something. We're going to go ask him what he's doing. Uh, Will has a company called Safety Third Racing. They do like drone stuff, so it's probably going to be something pretty cool about drones. Uh, here we're on the second floor of the Idea Foundry. People are working, co-working space, so we're trying to be a little more quiet. Hey, Will. Hey. What you working on? Uh, I'm working on a guide for building drone racing obstacles. Awesome. Yeah. So it's just uh, just the obstacles itself, like like what the standards are? Uh, yeah. So I'm helping some schools up north in Ohio put together a drone racing league, and we're trying to sort of standardize the obstacles that all the pilots use to fly. And you've done that before, right? Like a, an actual league? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we, we do it in like the hobby world a bunch. This is the first ever like high school racing league. And they're, mm -hmm. racing, they're racing these little frames. Actually, I have one. This is what they're racing. Um, yeah. What, what do you call these ones? Nanos? Yeah, this is like a nano-sized uh, first-person view quadcopter. The pilots actually fly them while wearing VR goggles. Uh -huh. And uh, the frames are all like 3D printed, so yeah. we designed the frames. Those are all up on Thingiverse. And uh, actually taught a workshop for a bunch of teachers just a couple weeks ago. So and now they're all asking me for like what what are we gonna need to build a racing course and these are pretty cheap though right like when we're looking at these one time it's like the cameras are like thirty bucks um, and then you're printing the frames and then like the whole package is under hundred bucks right the it's a little more than maybe that with goggles, of the goggles and the controllers and stuff. And stuff. yeah but like the drone parts are probably right around a hundred bucks and like I don't. I don't sell any of that stuff. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but, uh, but yeah, you, I mean, the 3D printed frame, you can print these in like 20 minutes, and it's like, you know, 25 cents worth of PLA. Awesome. Which is pretty cool. What are these so. ones, too? What are these ones? Oh, these are fun. So, like, after the motors on these die or get, like, really crappy, um, instead of throwing away the guts, you can just, like, transplant the brain and the motors and the propellers to this frame, which mm -hmm. we also 3D designed. So like, it's, and it's, it's a the hovercraft. same... Components. Yeah, it's the same exact components. Oh, I did not it's a realize different that. chassis. And if you're if you want to get rid of that other dimension yeah, yeah, flying yeah. up and down, you just want to hover around, you can use the exact same controller, you can still use your FPV and these are really kind of becoming trendy. So I this is all on Thingiverse 2 now. Um, we're thinking about setting up a league where you have two versus two, like mini oh, soccer. Oh yeah. Yeah, because they Rocket League. Like Rocket League, yeah. exactly. It's right. Actually, just charged a battery too. This, this was not staged actually, <laughs> but I, kind of working on these in tandem for this stuff. This is this is cool. So you're thinking this is more like beginners because you don't have to worry about flight. Yeah, you don't have to worry about flight. It's more beginner friendly, but I guarantee all of the like this is good because pro I, pilots would totally get. A kick I know at one point we were talking about these cars, which is the same basic thing. Yeah. With the, with the setup, and I and I feel like that was nice to not have to worry about flying in exactly. 3D. You know? Exactly. So this, awesome, like. And I, they're fast. Yeah, yeah, they're they're way faster than that even too. So like, let me see if I can get to somewhere out in the open. Wow, I cannot believe how fast they are. It gets some uh, kind of lift, like yeah, a boat. It does. Yeah, it's got. I mean, two of the propellers are kind of pointed down to create some lift underneath this this chassis. And the other two are pointed backwards to create that forward thrust. So, awesome. But not, like, this is not a class or anything. Yeah. This is just kind of for fun. But if you've got drone guts and you want to build one, uh, go to Thingiverse and look up the S3 Patty Cake, or Hovercraft. And you just work. put this, you designed this yeah. chassis and put it up there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's all snapped together. So Very cool. Yeah, have fun with that. All right, thanks, Will. Yeah, sure. See you guys. See you. We're going to head this way.